hello guys welcome back to this channel on today's video we'll see about what is meant by loads on structure and how do you classify loads so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to this channel you'll get notification when new videos are uploaded every week so loads are actions they are actions which are imposed directly or indirectly on the structure so they can act directly through contact or they can they can act indirectly on structure so loads can be classified using these four parameters you can classify them using area of application using building codes using direction in which the loads act and how the structure respond to the loads classification based on area of application loads are classified based on area of application into two major categories we have concentrated loads and distributed loads concentrated loads are sometimes called point loads these loads act on relatively very small area hence they are considered as a concentrated or point load an example of such loads is a person or an object resting on a beam or any type of structural element or an axle load axle load from a trailer or a vehicle is considered as a series of concentrated load a series of concentrated load distributed loads are loads which are distributed either per unit length of the structural member or per unit area like in the case of slabs so these are further classified into uniformly distributed loads linearly varying distributed loads and non-uniform distributed loads uniformly distributed loads are loads in which their load intensity is evenly evenly or equally distributed throughout the structure an example is a partial load it could be load bearing partial load acting on a beam or resting on a beam the other classification is linearly varying distributed load these loads vary linearly across the structure they can also be represented by a trapezoidal distribution where the load will have a minimum intensity and a maximum intensity or it can be uh, represented by a triangular distribution from zero up to a maximum the last uh, classification is non-uniform distributed load such type of loads are unevenly or they are not uniform hence they are unevenly distributed throughout the structure an example for such type of load is load on a train track classification based on building codes most building codes classify loads either as permanent or dead loads these are sometimes called fixed action where the load intensity does not vary with time hence it will remain the same throughout the lifespan of the structure an example is self-weight of structural components such as the weight of the slab the weight of the beam the weight of the truss the weight of the column or you can have heavy equipment and machinery which are not movable which are not movable the next classification is live or transient loads live or transient loads this load intensity varies with time example people's load movable furniture or vehicles and we have environmental and accidental loads these loads are related to the climate or the environment an example of such load is earthquake load and wind load we can also classify load based on direction we have gravity loads this load acts in the vertical direction or in the direction of the gravity most structural loads act in the vertical direction and we also have lateral load these loads act at an angle or perpendicular to the surface there is an exception to this lateral load we have earthquake load earthquake load does not directly cause lateral movement however 
it uh, does not directly sorry does not directly act on superstructure whereas it excitation causes the superstructure to move in back and uh, sway motion back and forth motion or sway motion which is usually lateral motion and hence it is classified under lateral load the last classification is based on response so structure can respond statically or they can respond dynamically usually static loads cause static response in which the structure does not show any acceleration so there is no acceleration in other case support you exert support the structure is subjected to an earthquake excitation in such case there is a movement or motion on the bo the body or the object and there is an acceleration so this is how you classify loads so i will see you in the next video thanks guys